The 2022 Atlantic hurricane season was the third costliest on record due in large part to Hurricane Ian. While costly, overall, the season was near normal in terms of storms. AccuWeather long-range forecasters say the upcoming hurricane season, which starts on June 1st, could see similar levels of activity. Forecasting 11 to 15 total um, named uh, tropical storms. Of those 11 to 15 storms, we believe four to eight will become hurricanes. And of the four to eight, we expect one to three to become um, major hurricanes. AccuWeather lead hurricane expert Dan Kotlowski says sea surface temperatures in the tropical Atlantic are currently normal to above normal. Long range modeling, however, shows those temperatures may increase to above normal across most of the tropical Atlantic as we get deeper into hurricane season. We think that will have an impact on the development of storms in and around the United States and also the possibility of storms becoming quite intense. While warm waters in the Atlantic can favor tropical development, water temperatures thousands of miles away near the equator in the Pacific Ocean can also have a big impact on hurricane season. When those waters are colder than normal, it's known as La Nina. When they're warmer, it's known as El Nino. We're in a neutral pattern right now, but that's expected to transition to El Nino in the coming months. Kotlowski says El Nino hurricane seasons tend to be less active than La Nina seasons. The westerly winds, they tend to dip down more frequently deep into the tropics. And what that does, it causes vertical wind shear, which in turn causes thunderstorm growth to become tilted. That tilt caused by the shear disrupts the possibility of tropical development. Kotlowski says the areas expected to be most at risk this year for both direct and significant impacts are Florida on up into the Carolinas. For more on AccuWeather's 2023 hurricane season forecast, visit AccuWeather.com. For AccuWeather, I'm Lincoln Riddle. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, check out these other videos here and be sure to subscribe for new content and the latest weather news from AccuWeather.